Hey from Mike Strong here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the screen capture software that I'm using. So the screen capture software that I use for my Premiere Pro tutorials is ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is a really great software. However, it is for the Mac only. I bought this software because I've tried a lot of free softwares and other softwares and a lot of them lags or like slows down my process in Premiere Pro or like cause a lot of processing issues with Premiere Pro and ScreenFlow is literally the only one I can edit in 4K with tons of effects without it slowing anything down but also I am now using an iMac 5K so it actually captures the 5K full screen right now already which is crazy because it's <laughs> recording such a high resolution uh, screen capture and other things uh, you can edit in the software itself. So actually let's stop this recording and start uh, showing you guys inside of the ScreenFlow software. So we're now inside of the ScreenFlow software after you have recorded a video. And the great thing about it is you have here a timeline, you can edit it, you can uh, do cuts here, uh, add like a split here, uh, even though it's called a split instead of a cut. and um, yeah there is a lot of options here and also we can here change a lot of uh, things so we can also change the audio volume however i don't really do that inside of screenflow i rather do that afterwards in premiere pro and also we have a lot of options to do like adding um, like changing the size of the pointer or the mouse cursor so we can see the mouse cursor here it's quite small so we can actually increase the size which is quite useful especially me using a 5k screen now it becomes quite small for people with like a smaller screen and like at a radar when it clicks you can also show key presses but I didn't do any key presses here so I can't really show you and yeah there's many options here to do and add a lot of things however personally i don't really do any editing inside of screenflow i just only use it to record but the main thing that i only do inside of the screenflow is changing the size of the mouse cursor at a radar so people can see when i click and also ch show keystrokes when i press uh, keys on my keyboard and now we're going to export it. So here, export. I've made a custom preset here. So you can actually customize here. I should change it to ProRes LT. I don't really need it to be like high res, like with like HQ and 404. Uh, mainly I, I don't need, I'm not going to grade my screen recording. So LT is enough. These are just normal settings and the skill I do 50% because most of the videos now I produce or put out are 2.5k I don't really need to have it in 5k um, I can do it but personally I don't feel like I need to have it in 5k and I pretty much just changed this name screen flow and we can export this out and it exports it quite fast being ProRes and not being also quite a short uh, recording for that. So, well, I'm actually now like exporting, I'm also recording and it can handle both of them just quite well without it slowing down one of the processes. And pretty much when I've exported the video, just drag it into Premiere Pro the rest is first changing the audio, normalize peak to zero, and then basically start cutting. So that was the screen capture software that I use. So I hope you guys like this video and please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button here below and also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when I post a new video. See you guys the next time. Bye bye.